Welcome back to the Brother Blog. Um, feel free to check out our channel, subscribe, give us some feedback on our video. Today we're going to look at the BCS and, well, sort of the inability of the BCS to make college football postseason work. You know what? Uh, the BCS, there's really a ton of flaws in the system. You take a look in the past years. In 2009, the BCS had the Cincinnati Bearcats at number three and the Florida Gators at number five. Now, we all remember Florida just clobbered Cincinnati to death in that football game. So, obviously, that's just one of many mismatches that the BCS has produced. Another thing is they had TCU at number four and Boise State at six. Boise State, you know, it was a defensive battle, but really if you watch the game, it seemed like Boise, Boise State, State had, had control. control. Yeah. It was sort of like that Utah-Pittsburgh game the other night. You could just tell the game was going to go to Utah. Mm -hmm. there were, but Boise State didn't throw that game away like Utah threw it away. It yeah. was just a defensive battle. But um, you look at that also. You look at the year before last year, 2008. Oh, that was unbelievable. You see, they send Oklahoma to the title. Over Texas, and of course you look back, Florida. That wasn't much of a game, I didn't think. I think Florida really outmatched Oklahoma. Oklahoma was didn't belong there at all, at all. I mean, they did not belong in that game. You had Utah at number six, number six, undefeated, number six, killed Alabama. They didn't. Kill they them. killed them. They didn't kill them because of the second half. But they were up twenty-one nothing in the first quarter. They don't belong at number six. They should have deserved a chance to play for a national title. They were an incredible team. And one thing that you have to remember is Alabama was they Number barely one. they barely lost the SEC championship game that year to Florida, the national champs. And when you see Utah come out and just slaughter uh, Alabama, you got to think, you know, what could have Utah done to Florida, and could they have potentially won a national championship? So obviously, you have to throw in the idea of a playoff. Yeah, absolutely. And Utah, obviously, being number six, smacked Alabama in the face. And Alabama would have been in the national title. Probably would have won it, considering they sent friggin' Oklahoma the title. Because Texas loses in the final second because Michael Trabtree slips the tackle and goes into the end zone. How is that loss even considered... Equal to a head-to-head yeah, head game. And they beat Oklahoma head-to-head. By to ten head. points on neutral, neutral turf. Field. It's absolutely ridiculous, the BCS. I mean, is. if you beat them neutral field... By 10 points, how is it that they go to the national title over you when you lost the same amount of games and your loss was on the final play on the road against another highly ranked team yeah. because Crabtree slips the tackle? That's ridiculous. You know, that's just the computers aren't the human eye. They're not understanding football. They're not processing it correctly. Also that year, Boise State went undefeated, if you've heard of them, and they didn't even get a BCS bid. So you look at that and questions have to be asked. So this is our solution. It's a... Six team playoff, and what it incorporates is everything that college football wants to continue to incorporate to keep their viewers, but give us, you know, that playoff system that we all want. Because right now, they're not going to give it to us simply because they think that, you know, 99% of people watch college football. We're still watching every game, you know, even though we hate the postseason, we're still watching every game. Everyone who hates the system still watches every game. So how they get changed when the reviews are so high. But they want to incorporate the bowl system still. And they want the regular season to still matter. And obviously they want to give some of the non-AQ teams a chance because frankly the Big East isn't much of a conference at all compared to the Mountain West. So if you look at our system now, in case you couldn't understand it, we got number one and number two getting a bye down there if you can see that. So the number one ranked team and the number two ranked team will get a bye. And then the number one ranked team will play the winner between number four and number five. Now this number four, number five game will be the FedEx Orange Bowl. So you still got the Orange Bowl. And it'll mean, it'll mean a lot more. People are going to watch that game. More people will watch that game because it's your team and they're fighting for a chance to win a national title. So number one gets a bye, which is a huge bonus and makes the regular season count. They play number one. The winner of that game advances to the national title. On the other and the uh, semifinal with number one is the Fiesta Bowl. The Sugar Bowl is over here, number three and number six on the left side. The winner of that game plays number two in the Rose Bowl, and then that team goes to the national title. So it incorporates all the bowls, and you could also have 
the bowls rotating around, you know, the Tostitos could move to one side, the Rose Bowl could move to one side, you know, they could shift around all they want, but this gives us a playoff system, the season matters, and they incorporate all four of the BCS games that we want incorporated. So, Griff, why don't you show them our little demo here. Well, this is a picture of what would be the BCS playoff system last season if they had our system. Now, to your point, you know, everyone is watching the BCS games, even if they don't like them. So it's one reason why they keep the BCS going. Another is they don't want the playoff extending through the school year, yeah. and then kids have to go on the road. They don't want that March Madness. But, I mean, if you really focus on it, take a look. Most of the bowl games are starting in December, correct? You get the first ones around December 24th. Yeah, what, it, what if you threw in the Orange Bowl and the Sugar Bowl around Christmas, Christmas Eve, and then the second round would be New Year's Day, and then you have the national title January 8th, just like you have it before. I mean, it worked perfectly, so you cannot use that against us fans anymore. So uh, the next thing is the gas, you know, driving and flying cross-country to get to places. And, you know, I think that more people are going to be watching the games. More people are going to be going to the games. So definitely more sponsors, more money. They can definitely yeah. afford that. So, I mean, really, there's no... There's nothing that the BCS can fight against the fans and the players because definitely the players want to play off as well. Yeah, Unless, they took that poll. It was yeah. like 64% of players yeah. want a playoff system of some kind. So that tells you something. But then it was something like 80% would want one if you kept the bowl system. And our sixth team set up right here keeps the bowl system. And as you can see here, our system, this is obviously we predicted who would win the games because – they didn't get to play because the BCS randomly selects the teams like Cincinnati and Florida. That was a great game. <laughs> so in the Nokia Sugar Bowl, or not the Nokia Sugar Bowl, it's the All-State Sugar Bowl now, yeah, no. but you would have Cincinnati and Boise State, which wouldn't be much of a game. You would expect Boise State to beat them because Boise, Boise State, State was way better. Yeah, they're but in way the better. BCS, Cincinnati's number three because the BCS didn't realize that. But with our system, Boise State now has a chance to play for a national title. Then you would have Boise State and Texas, and this would probably be one of the most exciting games of Absolutely. the year the to watch. Game. And, you know, Chris Peterson usually can get the job done in these big games. Yeah. So we see Boise State winning that game and advancing the, to the national title. Yeah, it by could go hair. Either way. And the only reason really we really give Boise that as edge is because Texas didn't look very good in that national title, and Boise looked pretty good in that Fiesta Bowl. So, you know, that really pushes us there. And then our side. Then on the other side, you get TCU and Florida going at it, and you we have Florida advancing Tim Tebow last season, and Florida had a very good defense. It would be an exciting game to watch, though. Definitely would. Two very solid defenses. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? I absolutely would. And then you get a rematch of the SEC Championship with which probably wouldn't be as exciting as it was, you know, before. Yeah. Or it not as well, another. Well, there's more game. on the line. Yeah, and it's a sort lot of it's line. sort of a shame that they rematch like that. I mean, that's a bit of a flaw in the system. You'll you could see rematches like that, but in this case, I mean, if they're the two best teams, let them rematch. The SEC title means more than to an extent. I mean, right now, you ask me who won the SEC title, you know, two years ago. I'm just going to guess Florida since they probably won the national title that year, I think. So, yeah. I mean, but I don't really know who won the Big 12 a few years ago because it doesn't matter. Yeah. The, it, it, no one cares. The Big 12 a couple years ago had to have been one, the most, It I think it was the most frustrating thing to me as a college football fan I've ever seen. Would you agree with that? I absolutely would. I mean, very talented Texas team, and I'm... I, I'm not trying to disrespect Oklahoma. They were very talented, too. But 10-point yeah. difference on neutral field, I don't see how that can trump an upset on the road in a hostile environment on, on the, the last play of the game. Play. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. It's just so retarded. the BCS has to improve, and we have Alabama, but that's not important. This would be the playoff system that would be incorporated for last and what, season. What you see is... We then have Alabama and Boise matching up, and we have the same national champion, we think. We think that'd be a pretty cool game, too. But I think Alabama's a little too physical for, you know, the Boise State Broncos. I mean, they're they're physical, they're big, they're a surprise team, but they're not, you know, 
friggin' Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide, who were just a powerhouse of a team on um, running the ball. So what our system has done is it's produced the same national champion. It's shown, you know, it's produced the same bowl games. You're probably going to get more viewers. A lot more viewers. I would watch. I mean, right now, if we're... I remember last year we watched that Cincinnati Florida game. We turned it on. It's fourteen nothing right away. We're like, eh, off. You know, we went sledding. <laughs> yeah, we went sledding. We were like, forget this. You know, and some of the bowl games. You know, if you see the teams like Georgia Tech Iowa, I wasn't that interested in that game. I don't think I even watched it. But with this system, you're gonna be watching it more because they're matched up together. And you know, it's like the NFL playoffs. I don't like the NFL. None of our videos cover the NFL, and there's a reason for that. We have no interest in it. But the NFL playoffs roll around. We watch basically every game because, you know, who's going to win the Super Bowl? So it's like that. This gives it a little more of that Super Bowl taste. Everyone watches March Madness. I mean, this re- keeps the bowl system, makes the big, makes the regular season matter because you got to get a good spot. You know, you have to get a good spot. You get number one or number two, you're in a big, big advantage to have that bye week to get the rest. And then, number three, it gives these non-AQ teams, Boise State, Utah, these teams that you don't know that much about, could they have been what they think they were, what, you know, some of the experts think they might have been, gives them their opportunity to play for a national title and show their stuff. Yeah, the non-AQ teams would be like the New York Jets in last year's playoffs. You know, yeah. you saw them 9-7, and seven, barely getting you think into the wild card. If they had a BCS system in the NFL, what who do you think would be the national champion every year? I mean the Giants wouldn't have won the year they upset the Patriots. No. That's for, that's for sure. If they had that in the NFL, it would not work ever. I don't think it would ever work. Maybe like once every five to six years. So if that's true, why are they using it in college football? Why isn't this fixed? It it's really unfair. Not only to the fans who want to see their school can be able to compete for a national title. But it's very unfair to the players, you know. You got the seniors, you know, out in Boise State last season. There weren't many. They did everything they could. Yeah, they did. What else are they supposed to do? They took care of Oregon pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they went undefeated. What are you going to do if you're them? I mean, you got to focus in in the players' eyes or even the coaches' eyes for, you know, moments and just think, you know, how do they feel? So, um, that's our video. It's a 16 playoff, you know. Check it out. Feel free to show people. I mean, it's out there. We want to put it out there. We want people to see it because we see ESPN talk about the plus one in the A team. Why not a six team? You know, I think it's a good hybrid of that. And I think that it might sound stupid, but if you look at it, it looks pretty logical. Makes that season count more, you know, because the BCS hasn't worked. We explained why, you know, Utah. Boise State, you know, the Cincinnati game, then Oklahoma over Texas. All together, you have to look at the BCS hasn't done its job fully. The contract's going to end soon. And this is a very good option. It still incorporates the BCS to an extent, but it adds that new playoff factor. So uh, check out our channel, subscribe, give us that thumbs up, thumbs down. Give us some comments, tell us what you think, and uh, feel free to tell us what your idea is or if we keep the BCS. So uh, thanks for watching. Play off.